What are the options to agree with someone? For instance, someone tells you, I live in the city center. And let's imagine it is, or maybe it is true for you as well. So what would you say? You will reply, of course, me too. This is the easiest, the fastest. But there is also another option. I am sure you've heard about it. So <laughs> I. Will you say so live I? So am I? So do I? So did I? What is the option? So if you have here I live, this is about the present state, right? So the present simple. So you will agree and say so do I. But if someone tells you, I don't live in the city center, and it is also true for you, you say, I don't live in the city center, too? Will you say, me too? Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, 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 we cannot say so, because me too is about the positive, the, the affirmative statement, meaning I live, not I don't, but I live me too. I like something, me too. But we cannot say me too when we have negative statement. Mm -hmm. So we need to say neither do I or nor do I. I don't live in the city center, neither do I, nor do I. I live in the city center, so do I. This is the structure we will practice in this lesson, which will help you to come to fluency much, much faster, because while training, while looking at these sentences, I will give you different situations, different tenses, so you can really practice. I ask you to speak out loud so that you do not just watch and understand. We need to make our mouth, our art articulation system, remember this structure so that we don't have to think how to use it. We will be ready because we are ready with saying it. When we train our muscles, our memory has this knowledge in it. We remember. So, I invite you to speak with me out loud and we will look at 10 different situations. So, uh, neither do I, this is British uh, uh, pronunciation, neither, uh, American one will say neither. This is what you probably hear, um, you've heard in the movies, neither, either, but British, neither, either whichever you prefer. So you speak the way you like it, all right? Let's move on. Here is the situation. Someone tells you, I am on a diet this month, for example. I tell you, I am on a diet. Between us, this is not true. I'm not on a diet. But let's imagine, okay? I am on a diet this month. So how would you agree? You say, mm, me too, or so am I. Because I am on a diet, this is the actual situation, and, and you will say, I am also on a diet, or simply, so am I. By the way, um, we will start with a little bit easier ones, when it is like, I am on a diet, so it's easy to understand, so am I. Mm -hmm. But later we will be gradually coming to a little bit more difficult when it is not quite clear what to use. So step by step, don't think that you will have only easy examples, okay? Uh, we will come to more difficult ones as well. So, and negative. For example, someone tells you, I am not on a diet, I am not on a diet. How can you agree? What would you say? I'm showing. Nor am I, you can say. Neither am I. Or you can, of course, say me neither. Meaning me too. Me neither, me neither. Mm -hmm. But so am I or nor am I. So am I, neither am I. Next one. For 
example, she was on a diet last month and you want to, to agree, oh, I was, I was, I, I also was. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? So, exactly. I was on a diet last month. This is not because she was. I was on a diet last month. So was I. If you have here, we were on a diet last month, you will still say so was I because it's about you. So was I. I she is, for example, on a diet and you are on a diet as well. You say, I am on a diet. That's why. So am I. So was I. Negative statement. She was not. She was not on a diet. You agree? I... Yeah, it's about me. Nor was I. Neither was I. Me neither. Me too for positive. Me neither for negative. Okay. Here, I can speak three foreign languages. Someone tells you, I can speak three foreign languages. And you want to agree? Mm -hmm. You have can. Mm -hmm. Can, this will be easy. So can I. You want to say, I, I also, I also can speak. I can. That's why. So can I. Right? And negative, I cannot speak any foreign languages. Someone tells you, I cannot speak any foreign languages. And you agree, you say, hmm, I cannot, I cannot either. So, neither can I, nor can I, me neither, of course. So, in all of these sentences, you will see me too, me neither. But let's concentrate on this, so can I. Neither can I if I cannot, nor can I if I cannot. So two options. Let's move on. He has some good business ideas. So this one might be a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Look, he has some good business ideas. And you want to say, me too. I have some good business ideas. How can you agree? Mm -hmm. Look at this. So do I. Me too. So do I. Look. Uh, how can we understand? How can we make this calculation in our head? Uh, Fast and easy. If I say he has some good business ideas, I understand if he has, it means it's present simple. So I would say if it is a question, does he, this is what the question would be. So if I need to say that uh, another colleague of mine or another lady has also business ideas. So if it is he has, does he, so she has, does she, so does she. You understand where this does come from? And if you say, I have also, it means I do have some business ideas. Do I? So do I. Right? So you understand that this is present simple. You need to recall these auxiliary verbs and remember, try to Fast in your mind, make either negative sentence or question. So if he has, meaning does he, meaning do I, uh -huh. so do I. You see, I hope it is helping. Let me know in the comments below. Is it clear or not? If it, if it is still so-so, I will make one more video in another, um, explaining it in another way uh, so that I really want you to understand it because it is so, so commonly used in the films, in the movies. You can always hear it. So do I, neither do I, so do we, so does he, so did he, and so on and so on. I really want you to understand and to be able to use it. So let me know in the comments below. Yes, it's good. I understand. Or no, not so much. I would like to have another video. Okay, I will make it. So um, negative. 
Oh, actually, look, I put here also. He does not, for example, you calculate in your head. If he has, then he does not. He does not, meaning I do not. This is I do not have. This is how you understand that do will help you in this case, right? So, so do I. Mm -hmm. Negative, look, this will be easy. He doesn't have any ideas. So, of course, doesn't. It means negative. I need to use nor or neither. So, neither do I, because it's about me. I don't have any ideas. So, neither do I, nor do I. Or if it is about another person, another colleague, another man, neither does he, of course. Neither does she. So, he, she, he does. Are you with a do? Okay. Next one. I'd like to sign up uh, for the gym. So, this, we know that I'd like means I would like. How can you agree? Okay, I'm showing. So would I, right? Because I'd like to sign up for the gym, someone tells you. And you think, oh, me too. I also would like, I would like. So would I. Our modal verb, so would I. Someone tells you, I wouldn't like to commute to my gym, meaning use public transport. It's good when gym is just five, ten minutes away from your home, maybe, or at least from your work, so don't, you don't have to use transport, you don't have to go by car, it's just five steps away. So, um, someone tells, I wouldn't like to commute to my gym. You say, good job, neither would I, nor would I, me neither, of course. I wouldn't, neither would I. I wouldn't, nor would I. Okay, we are coming to the end. We enjoyed the film. So, what is hidden here? We enjoyed. And, for example, you also liked um, the film. You also enjoyed it. What would you say? Pause this video if you need more time. I'm showing you. So did I. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed the film. And you say, I enjoyed the film. Try to make fast in your head. Uh -huh. So if I enjoyed, for example, if it is negative, I didn't enjoy. That's why I need so did I. Because did, did is auxiliary verb here. So did I. A negative? Oh, look, here is. We enjoyed the question, for example, or the negative statement, a negative sentence. We did not, I did not. So I clearly see that this did is auxiliary verb. That's why so did I, or so did we. Or so did he or she or they, whatever. We know that only one auxiliary verb. Past simple, he, she, it, you, we, they, did. So did I. And now negative. We didn't enjoy that film or that movie. Negative. Okay, I'm showing. Neither did I. Easy. I can see didn't. It means neither did I, nor did I, me neither, of course. Okay. Mary and John have just moved flats. This one will be easier. Do you recognize have just moved? They just done it. It's just, it's been like, just recent, recently, just a few days they just moved flat they they went to different flat to live in a different flat they moved to a different flat i have just moved they have just moved our present perfect right so how can you say me too mm? so have i think about the sentence i have just moved flats 
so have I. And negative. Mary and John haven't moved yet. Haven't? That's easy, right? Neither have I, nor have I. Good. Megan will have a sandwich for lunch. Megan will have a sandwich for lunch. And you too. Okay, I show you. So will I, of course. So will I. Megan won't have a sandwich. I show you. <laughs> neither will I, nor will I, me, neither. All right. And the last one. We are planning to go to the US for our vacation. We are planning. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make a sentence about you, I and you agree, so am I. I am planning to. I am planning to. So am I. Negative. We are not going to have our vacation abroad. Neither am I, nor am I, right? Because I am not, I am not either, I am not, neither am I, nor am I. That's right. And applauses to you if you stayed with me till this moment. You are my star. Good job done. And I'm so happy that you've done all of this practice with me. If you would like, you can watch it again, of course. And if you feel like this practice will be helpful for someone else, for anybody who you know, please share this video with anyone for whom it will be useful as well. Please do not forget to give it a like if it was um, if it was helpful, if it was valuable for you, if you enjoyed it, please let me know if you would like me to explain it in another way. I think I will make another video anyway, but it will help me to understand what exactly was not clear, where you struggle, where you are not sure. And of course, I invite you to check out other videos of speaking practice because I have several of those and we'll have even more. And I will be happy to see you again on my channel in my videos. I hope you're subscribed. If not, I invite you to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.